In tonight's Hot 7 Sports News, the Windies call up Kimo Paul for final tests, another hiccup for Liverpool, and Jose Mourinho avoids jail. We bowl off tonight's Sports News with Test Cricket. Windies have called up all-rounder Kimo Paul for the first test against England, Mike Raffitt confirmed as captain in place of the suspended Jason Holder. Victory in the second test in Antigua secured the free match series and the Wisden Trophy with one test to go, but a slow overrate from the Windies sees Holder miss out on the final match in St. Lucia following two such offences in a 12-month period. The match is the first ever between the two sides to be played at the Darren Sami Cricket Ground in St. Lucia. It will be played from Saturday, February 9th to Wednesday, February 13th, with the first ball scheduled daily for 10 a.m. Eastern Caribbean time. The Windies have an unbeatable 2 0 lead in the free match series and have recaptured the Wisdom Trophy. The full squad reads Craig Braffitt, captain, Darren Bravo, Shamar Brooks, John Campbell, Roston Chase, Shane Dorich, Shannon Gabriel, Shimonet Meyer, Shai Hope, Ozari Joseph, Kimo Paul, Kima Roach, O'Shane Thomas, and Jomel Warren. On to women's cricket, the Windies women are back in Dubai after a 2-1 T20 International Series win over Pakistan women in Karachi over the weekend. In Dubai, they will play 3-1 internationals against the same team as part of the ICC Women's Championship, which counts toward qualification for the ICC Women's World Cup in 2021 in Australia and New Zealand. Joining the team in Dubai is captain Stefani Taylor, who did not participate in the T20 internationals in Karachi, Pakistan. In domestic cricket news now, the long-awaited South Cassius Cricket Association 2018 T20 semi-final and final were held over the last weekend at Domingo Philip Park. Forest Air Catahas retained the title they won in 2017, defeating the Millet Cobras. In the first semi-final played on Saturday, Millet Cobras defeated the South Castries under-19s by 35 runs, while Forest Air Catahars defeated Bexon by 38 runs. In the grand final on Sunday, the Catahars made it back-to-back -back titles with a nine-wicket win over Millet Cobras. Summarized scores in the match, Millet 73, Siobhan Leo scoring 22, Ed Joseph taking three for 12. For Forest Air, they scored 75 for one, Stephen Natrum 46 not out. The teams will now prepare for the 2019 competition, scheduled to commence later this month. Change of sport now football. Liverpool's English Premier League title challenge faltered again, joined at West Ham 1-all to hand Manchester City a chance to go top tomorrow. Having also been held by Leicester in the last game, Liverpool have seen their lead over City trimmed to three points, with the second-place defending champion having a superior goal difference. By taking points of Liverpool, where Sam has helped oh, out Manchester City, who can go top by beating Everton tomorrow. Where Sam are 11 in the standings. We conclude tonight's sports news with more football related news. Ex Manchester United boss Jose Mourinho has agreed a prison term in Spain for tax fraud but will not go to jail. A one year prison sentence will instead be exchanged for a fine of €182,500. That will be added to a separate fine of two million euro dollars. Spain really enforces sentences of less than two years for non-violent or first-time offenders. He was accused of owing 3.3 million euro dollars to Spanish tax authorities from his time managing Real Madrid in 2011 to 2012. Prosecutors said he had created offshore companies to manage his image rights and hide the earnings from tax officials. That's tonight's Hot 7 Sports News.